Hello all, uh, welcome back to my channel. So to the new series on uh, object oriented programming language C++. So the C++ introduces object oriented programming features to C. Uh, we can say that it's an upgraded version of C programming. The main idea behind uh, creating C++ programming was to add object orientation to the C programming language. The major upgradation are uh, you know, object oriented programming methodology that is uh, additional features such as uh, class, object, polymorphism, encapsulation, inheritance, abstraction and also the other features such as uh, namespace feature of uh, operating operator overloading, uh, uh, error and exception handling etc. So uh, object oriented programming, uh, the C++ programming is used mainly in the areas such as uh, 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 you know, developing operating system because it's a fast and strongly typed programming language. So this makes it an ideal choice for uh, you know developing operating system, games, GUI based applications, web browser, embedded system is a place where I am using it, and uh, banking applications, uh, database management softwares, uh, compilers, etc. So without uh, wasting much of our time, we'll directly uh, uh, you know install an IDE and a compiler because the uh, the ID is needed to uh, you know write the code uh, so the but the the code that we write the human readable code that we write is not understood by the machine so it needs to be converted into machine code we need a compiler for that so compiler is the one that converts the human readable code to a machine code so uh, when it comes to IDE we'll install uh, Visual Studio code and um, the compiler uh, will go for MinJW okay so let's go ahead and download it so yes for visual studio code you can type in visual studio code and uh, in the google and you get this link you can just uh, go for the first link and uh, yes uh, you have this uh, you no know, download for windows option but yeah if you want uh, uh, to a specific uh, package you can go for other downloads here and yeah you can select uh, for windows you can select uh, yeah the 64 uh, bit or whatever you have and uh, yes uh, i have already downloaded it so it's in here we can just double click and launch it and uh, you accept the you just accept the agreement next just uh, for a beginner better to keep it in the same uh, path uh, do not change any path uh, next and this as well next and uh, yeah if you want to create a desktop icon you can create it yeah you can just read in all these things and you can select um, all and uh, or as per your need yeah next uh, install so visual studio code is getting installed yes uh, yes it is installed and uh, okay let's not launch this uh, for time being and click on finish yes and uh, when it comes to the compiler uh, MinGW compiler you can just go to uh, you can just type in MinGW compiler and you can go to any of the link here you can go to the first link org as well or else you can go for sourceforge so you can just uh, double uh, you can just click here and you know uh, you can click on download but uh, yeah as I have already downloaded it it is here I'll just launch it from here install continue click on continue so uh, yes uh, I had already installed it so it's asking for, uh, I'll just do it a uh, reinstall but for you guys I think it will be installed so just click on reinstall and uh, yeah it is installing let's wait for some time yeah let's wait for some time yes the MinGW installation manager is set up so let's click on continue and yes so here uh, you need to uh, select the uh, C++ compiler and the basic uh, MinGW installation guy uh, installation base so for that you just uh, click on uh, this one the MinGW 32 dot base uh, mark for installation as well as uh, this one uh, yeah and also uh, if you want others uh, like say for example ADA compiler or Fortran uh, compiler uh, you can select that as well so also you have uh, you know a GNU object uh, object you see compiler so you can select that as per your need so I would select uh, this as well I would select uh, yeah these three things on um, uh, uh, yeah you can select as per your need yes uh, yeah 
so these are the things i would select and you go to installation and apply changes that's it on future also if you want to change you can come here uh, you can open your installation manager and you can just uh, select, uh, select whatever you need and you can apply yeah apply so yeah it's getting installed yes it is done now uh, and you can close you can close this as well and uh, just to make sure that it is installed properly so just go to command prompt and uh, g plus plus hyphen hyphen version so yes you can see that you g plus plus uh, minji w is installed and you can see the version here so yes now we shall uh, launch uh, visual studio code and write a simple program and make sure that it compiles successfully and look for the output so we we'll launch visual studio code and also we'll add a folder so open folder uh, yeah we'll add the cpp yes it's added here it's already added here so we'll uh, create a new file say for example hello world dot uh, cpp yes and uh, yeah we'll uh, type a simple code hash include uh, yes so if you want the indications of your uh, uh, you know uh, the uh, the syntax and uh, the files you can go to uh, extensions here and uh, you can uh, uh, yeah uh, just uh, have an extension add on here that is code runner so yeah uh, yeah sorry uh, c plus uh, c c plus plus here the uh, yeah intellisense so this can be installed and uh, for uh, you know co code run direct run uh, button uh, you can just uh, uh, have an add on called code runner uh, from here these two uh, things would be very handy so make sure that you have uh, installed this yeah one is the code runner and other is the C++ uh, extension here from IntelliSense yeah for debugging and code browsing yeah so yes I have it already with me so that's why I am getting uh, the indications here IO stream yes and uh, let's uh, say that um, mm -hmm uh yeah int main and uh yeah um uh, yeah the namespace std c out hello world yeah and uh return zero you can see this you know indications you are getting from because you have you know have that you have that add on there installed yeah so yes now it's fine we will just save this file and uh, to run this we'll go to terminal and run selected text so and you can give the command the command is g plus plus and your dot slash your file name that is dot slash hello world dot cpp you can just uh, click on tab so you get it uh, hit enter and you see your executable generated here your code is compiled successfully you have your executable generated here and you can run your executable so that's dot slash uh, a dot out uh, sorry a dot exe here exe so you get hello world here so this is as simple as that you get your hello world here and also the add-on the code runner whichever you have installed from that you get this button here so from that you can just run code and you'll be able to see hello world here so this is how you you know uh, install uh, the id that is uh, visual studio code and the compiler minji w and uh, you know make the setup uh, for the compilation yeah so thanks for watching the video if you like this video please give it a thumbs up thank you